Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to get started on the Joy Toy Warhammer 40k 118th scale Tau Commander Shadow Sun. Okay, and it's Shadow Sun, as in Shadow then Sun, like Kamen Rider Black and Shadow Moon. So remember that. Um, Black Sun, but you know what I meant. But yes, uh, I've been really hard into the, the, the Joy Toy stuff. I fell down a rabbit hole. And now that they're doing other factions... It's pretty cool to see what it is because Ta the Tau Empire is technologically advanced, even though it's literally one of the youngest factions that there are, relatively speaking, next to other factions. So it's pretty cool. So they are like the anime pilot guys, like they're blue skinned water based creatures. And they just it, it's ridiculous when I was watching this lore. Shout out to Wes Hammer, whose video I watch. Um, he probably doesn't even know why I more care. But the point is formative video, pretty entertaining but yeah so here we are with these guys in giant mechs based off their caste system and this guy is a well they are a warrior so it's pretty cool to see this um i got this one from amazon but i believe it's also released like widespread all around at the same time and i and i want to give a shout out to joy toy for that because when they release stuff in china it's already available through their amazon store so they make sure stuff is readily available at least for the most part very quickly um so yeah Let's take a look at our, our mech warrior looking like he's straight out of an anime. Now, one small issue I have is that I'm trying to figure out the ball joint system to get it even out as it's on ratchets. Mine's technically does not even out the way I would like it to. So I had him kind of posed up funny. But as I sit here and I play with it on camera with you guys, it's now posing up a lot better, significantly better. And I like that it evens out. So it uses some of the similar to Revo joints. The posability is pretty nice. You can still get some, some nice articulation on it. And we're going to go over that right now. So on our backpack system, which is, I cannot take it off for some reason. I'm pretty sure if I heated it up enough, it'll probably come out. But I'm very scared to do that. We actually have an exhaust system here, along with uh, other exhaust vents. So we have our tail fin. We have our ratchet holders for our giant mini cannons. These can fold up in case you don't want to look at the ball joints. As you can see them on front. And these have ratchet joints as well, as you can see here, to rotate pretty much in every angle that you would like of. Same goes for the arms. We can hit similar, if not close, to a T-pose. I would have liked a full T-pose, but there is a lot of armor here. We have a joint system. Oops, sorry, let me push that back in. We have a joint system on a single joint on both arms. We can go up and down and around. There is enough clearance for that, which is pretty nice because I was hoping... There would indeed be enough clearance in there is there's also a butterfly joint inside as you can see i'm wiggling that right and also on our head sculpt the only bummer about the unmasked head sculpt is that you cannot twist the hair and move it around i would have very much liked it if i could do that but i'm scared of breaking it and i'm pretty sure it goes in just that one direction even right here for our piece right here this can actually swivel up and down Ooh, i dropped the stand and it can be used as a scope as well so let's actually as you can see here is used for a scope on scope on the head excuse me what's really cool is you can actually rotate the actual pouch for the weapon and you can actually remove its sidearm their sidearm as far as the legs like i spoke about before let's actually turn this down just a bit my lighting is a little off today and i apologize for that it might be a little bit on the brighter side um we have a ratchet like joint we have a double joint, but because of the mech design, it cannot fold into a certain way. So as you can see, you'll get to a certain part, and this is about as far as you'll get. You can't go any further. We have a beautiful ankle joint that swivels all the way in and out. We can go forwards and backwards as well. We can actually fold out as well, too. So you can do jet-powered rocket kicks as you feel to see fit. Now, as you can see here, my hand fell out just a little bit. My ball joint on my right hand is not as tight as the one on my left hand, but it is still a good joint. I wish it was a little bit tighter, so giving it some kikis will probably do that for me, right? I will say be careful with your joints, but they are pretty tight. But I want to say the reason why I'm going to say be careful is because if you're not paying attention to where they are, it, you can easily lose track of where the joint system was, and then you can actually break things. But as you can see here, even in our torso, look at that nice torso movement. And like I said, I just got this today. And it was cool that it, it came in pretty much one day, which is, like I said, they were prepared 
for this item to ship upon its actual release date. So I like that. But look at this. Some nice, cool articulation right at the gate. From some simple poses, doing flight stuff. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, it's pretty light. But I, I really like the fact that we are getting to this point now where even though it's light in accessories, the engineering that goes into this is like ridiculously insane. <laughs> where it's like, all right, dude, we, we get it. We're actually going to include all of these things for you to enjoy on this figure. It's also a big figure when you compare it to like other stuff. We'll get to that later. Now, as far as our accessory goes, you saw that we have our sidearm blaster. Let's actually get a little bit better of a focus on that. There we are. And that fits into our sidearm holster. You'll also get an alternative scope. It's going to be our, let's say you don't want to use Commando Shadowson, and you want to make it just a commander, a nameless commander. You have an actual helmet scope here. And I do recommend you heating them up before you pop them in. It's actually freezing here in New York. But if you just heat it up at the ball joint, just pop it on. There's no issue. You will also get another set of hands. Let's talk about our hands. You'll see one open hand here for holding a bladed weapon. You have a trigger hand to show that they're right-handed. You will also get two closed fists. And then you'll also get a right hand for just holding like a blade or a similar weapon, depending on what you want to do. I'm actually going to look into some more Tau people. I actually want to get a little vanguard for myself. Now, here we have with our larger weapon set, which, I, man, listen, I love these things. I, I love the idea of these. So, like I showed you before here with these, let's fix the focus. There we go. You plug these in the back. And unfortunately, this will make it extremely back heavy if you do not even out your weight distribution. But uh, as far as the posing and how it's going to look with it, psh, boy. You about to look crazy because <laughs> look at this. There is a ball joint here that allows you to put them up. And you can literally just be a dude like just pointing weapons at your enemy. And you look like a literal starship commander here. Or you can turn them into jet wings or whatever it is. This is like going to fulfill your anime dreams of like anime pilot stuff. And I'm 100% here for it. Or if you want, you rotate them back, push it back down. Hi, Riley. As you can see, Riley's here. He's trying to climb up. Uh, but I laid some booby traps. <laughs> You'll, he'll probably find a way to get up here anyway. But as you can see here, for example, watch this. I'm going to see if you leave the guns back there. It'll make it too back heavy. So with that being said, what they did include a stand. So I'm going to let him fall back just a little bit. Let them fall back. I'm going to show you that they actually oops, left out a stand, which I'm actually having trouble grabbing because it fell to the floor flat. And I don't have any sort of nails. So... There we go. And I'm one day I'm going to replace this old chair, but I, I love this chair so much. It's been with me since I've literally started this review journey. So I don't want to give it up. And I, I think that's, that's just me sitting in the past. Now, as far as this goes for the plug-in, there is a port right here at the backhand side. They give you a nice little stand. You plug it in. And even though it's back heavy, I, I do recommend, though, that you heat it up. At that back port, I heated mine up beforehand. But yeah, you can make it seem as if they're rocket boosters on your tower commander. And then just flight. As you can see, really heavy. So you want to tighten these up with a screwdriver. Or if you just want them to stand now, you can use it as a, just to help them stand. Or do a nice quick pose. But either way, I'm 100% here. For the, for the Tau stuff, if there's going to be like mecha pilots from Techromancer, that's going to give me like fever dreams of my past and my early teens. Um, but yeah, it, it it's weirdly exciting to be this excited about stuff again, because you guys are watching firsthand how I get into something and how I get heavy into it. And uh, it's kind of refreshing to be able to share that with you guys. So thank you for watching this um, for real, because... I know these kind of videos aren't going to get a lot of love for those of you that are watching it. I appreciate it because uh, it's it's not easy to try something new and different and watch somebody else on their journey doing the same. So thank you. With that being said, though, let's go jump into our size comparisons. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys. Now we're going to jump into the size comparison. Riley was here for a second, but he ended up knocking down the whole dio, freaking out over a loud noise. So he got down. So it took me a while to set it up. Um, But yeah, first thing, let's jump into... Size comparisons would obviously other 118 scale stuff. 
So I don't have a lot, but I have some stuff. So let's get to it. We're going to do some uh, some Astartes. So we're going to do it up against some Space Marines. And it's crazy how much bigger he is compared to them. So this is a 1.0 Imperial Fist. This is a Primaris, which is a slightly bigger body, which is on a 2.0. Ooh, excuse me. And then we have Shadow Sun, who is gigantic and towering over these guys, right? So think about it. If these guys tower over regular 118 scale... Imagine how gigantic he is. Great example being is, let's put it up next to a Haya Toys Predator, right? Like, look how much bigger he is. Like, it's crazy how much bigger he is. Let's remove him. And I'm going to keep the, the Joy Toy Warhammer there so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Here we are with a normal 118th Joy Toy with a custom Ichigo head. So here we are. Here we are with a Judge Giant by Haya Toys. Oh, that's that's really tiny. Um, here we are with a battle for the stars joy toy. Right. And then last but not least. Right. I, I actually just recently got this in. Shout out to my boy Nick at St. Mark's. Um, I now have a Pred Alien. I can finally say I own a Pred Alien. And here we are with a standing straight up Pred Alien from Haya Toys. And even that uh, is only clearly around the same size if not slightly taller than Shadow Sun. So that's pretty good in terms of size-wise. As I thought like he would be smaller, but then I put them next to these guys and I'm like, nah, he's gigantic, dude. Giant mech dude. Now, just to show you just how truly big he is, even when compared to a six-inch figure, he is not much smaller. So let's say you wanted to use him as a smaller six-inch scale figure. He technically works as just a smaller guy. That's me just putting a Spider-Man next to it, just to show you what it's like. So overall, I really like this. I like that I'm jumping in and doing this journey of Warhammer and finding it invigorating in every which way. Um, but in all honesty, it, the price point on some of these may turn some people off. Me, um, unfortunately, I'm fully addicted and I love lore. So it's got its hooks in me. Um, so, yeah, uh, I don't know what to tell you because I'm going to get what I want. But <laughs> as far as you go, uh, I definitely think you should consider options considering if, if it's not for you money wise, try to aim for the lower price options on stuff and aim for that. But um, yeah, I am thoroughly digging this line. This is fun as hell. And uh, thank you for going along with the journey and, and really enjoying my enthusiasm, like I said, and just trying new and different things. So please, always, guys, thank you for like sharing, commenting, subscribing. Uh, chatting with me emailing with me uh when you see me in the streets it, it's been wonderful lately and i appreciate that so as always please be good do good drink your water guys later